Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Tissue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Duke number one. This is a new book from Image Skybound, another entry into the Energon universe. Let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. This is written by Joshua Williamson with art by Tom Riley, Jordi Belair on colors, Rose Wooten on letters, and a plethora of um, variant covers that we'll see some of them at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Let me tell you here, I am very excited about this new entry into the Energon universe. If you have been watching the channel and keeping up, uh, you know that we are all in on the Transformers by Daniel Warren Johnson. Uh, and this book is no different. Uh, we begin with a little bit of background on Duke and how it connects to the Transformers. But from there, it really spins out its, into its own thing. So let me read the synopsis for everyone that doesn't know what's going on with this book. Uh, I will tell you, there'll probably be spoilers for the Transformers book on here, so keep that in mind. Uh, codename G.I. Joe starts here. Conrad Hauser has made first contact with an alien being and lived to tell the tale, but no one, not even Colonel Hawk, believes the story of the jet fighter converting into a colossal alien robot that nearly killed the man we know as Duke. Now, one of the U.S. Army's most decorated soldiers is on the hunt for answers drawn into a conflict that no amount of training could ever prepare him for, a war that only a real American hero has a chance of surviving. Superstar writer Joshua Williamson and artist Tom Riley kick off the first of four action-packed miniseries that will introduce the best and worst humanity has to offer in the Energon universe. So uh, Joshua Williamson will also be doing the Cobra Commander series. So it feels like we're going to have all those little mini series kind of build out the world and then maybe we'll get an actual G.I. Joe ongoing. That's still to be determined. Uh, but I am very excited because I really enjoy this issue. I've never been one to really go out and read G.I. Joe. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not even very familiar with the character outside of the films from the early aughts, which were probably not the best representation of the character. There's a really cool uh, G.I. Joe versus Transformers book that IW put out a few years ago, uh, actually quite a while back, probably now. Uh, but I am very excited about the team. I like all the stuff that Joshua Williamson has been doing over at DC. I'm a big fan of Tom Riley's art, specifically his latest stuff over uh, with, with the Ant-Man. Uh, and yeah, just these two things combined. Uh, with the Energon universe that has been set up in Void Rivals and uh, and Transformers, like it all leads me to believe that the people that are putting all this together really know what they're doing. You can tell that they are fans of the book, fans of these characters, fans of these mythologies that they want to build out this gigantic universe over at Skybound. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this story. Uh, the book has a lot of interesting things. It very efficiently tells you a few things. Who is Duke? Why he is in trouble? What he has experienced, which is the connection to the Transformers book. Uh, and does all this very efficiently. Joshua Williamson is really good at like giving you a lot of lore while still having it the artist just like you know really making things look cool there's a little bit of narration but tom riley just manages to even if you didn't know what was being said you could still kind of tell what type of person duke is and what is he out there for so let's take a look at some preview art um as you can see here we get a quick few pages of how duke is a man of action uh now i didn't like i said i didn't know much about the mythology so i didn't really know like Duke was just kind of his code name. Um, you know, you get to see here a little bit of his time during training, how he's an exemplary soldier, uh, but also he's also just a good person. Uh, and, and of course, a man of action. I really love to, I really love this. And the, these titles will come back uh, very reminiscent of the toys, uh, kind of like they each had their own little subheader, uh, beautiful art, just a big explosion and just a very dynamic pose. Tom Riley knows exactly what to do here to show you how badass Duke is. Uh, but then all that quickly changes as he's being interrogated by Colonel Hawk about his encounter with the Transformers, specifically Starscream, uh, who was the one that took, out, took down his plane 
and he had to evacuate, right? We saw that in an issue of Transformers. So what is a man to do now? So we really, I really love here the flashback. I love how uh, the coloring really shows you that this is the book about Duke and G.I. Joe, not so much about the Transformers. So even though the Transformers, specifically Starscream in this shot, um, are part of the mythology and part of the story, they're not the focus of this series, right? That's why Duke is a one in color, while Starscream is kind of like overshadowed. So it's still very menacing, uh, but remains a threat that only Duke really believes in at this time. Uh, and he, <clears throat> I like that uh, Joshua Williamson takes Duke from like the poster boy for the U.S. Army into more of a rogue agent as he tries to clear his name and bring all these things to light. Of course, he's going to run into some familiar dangers, specifically if you're familiar with uh, the mythology of the G.I. Joe franchise. Uh, but this book is very accessible to readers new and old. I think it rewards the old readers, just like the Transformers did, with little details and little um little things that you would probably be familiar with, but it also allows new readers to just kind of come in fresh into this mythology. So really cool stuff. I really enjoy this book uh, and I'm very, very excited to see where we go from here. So if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Everyone remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.